So, chapter 2, unsaturated hydrocarbons. So, we talked in chapter 1 about alkanes in which we had hydrocarbons with only single bonds. And an unsaturated hydrocarbon is going to have one or more carbon-carbon multiple bonds. These will either be triple or double bonds or possibly both. So these are considered unsaturated. Um, the physical properties of these are going to be similar to the saturated ones, but the chemical properties are going to be quite different. Um, the unsaturated hydrocarbons are much more reactive because those multiple bonds are, are more reactive than single bonds. We're going to introduce an idea called functional groups. And we'll refer to functional groups a lot during the semester. And what we mean by that is the part of an organic molecule that's responsible for most of the chemical reactions. So it's the part of any organic chemical that is more reactive. Alkanes do not have functional groups. But al alkenes and alkynes, which are unsaturated, do have um, a functional group. And it is the multiple bond. So whether it's a double or a triple, that multiple bond is considered the functional group. So these unsaturated hydrocarbons are divided into three groups. There's alkenes and alkynes. So we've talked about alkanes, and so we're doing um, a suffix thing here. We're changing the end. So alkenes have double bonds. Alkynes have one or more triple bonds. And then there's another group called aromatic hydrocarbons. And these have a special kind of uh, delocalized bonding um, that's contained in a six-membered carbon ring. And we'll talk more about those guys later, towards the end of the chapter. So we're going to talk about alkenes first. An alkene is an acyclic, unsaturated hydrocarbon that has m one or more carbon-carbon double bonds. And so we say that the functional group is that carbon-carbon double bond. So here are two examples of alkenes. So here's a two-carbon compound that has a double bond, and here's a three-carbon compound. It's got one double bond and one single bond. When we name these guys, um, we would choose the name based on the number of carbons, um, a two-carbon alkane would be called ethane, and we're going to change the suffix to ene. So we change ane to ene. Let's see. So ethane would be CH3CH3. That's the alkane. Ethane. The difference between these two molecules is that this one has a double bond. Because of that double bond, it also has two less hydrogens. And that's why it's considered to be unsaturated, because you could put more hydrogens into it. So ethane, ethene. So propene is related to propane, but it's got a double bond. The general molecular formula for alkenes is CnH2n. For the alkanes, it was CnH2n plus 2. But the alkenes are going to have two less hydrogens because of the double bond. So these are the two smallest alkenes. And we need to be aware of the arrangement, the, the geometry of the bonds around carbon atoms. So here we have an illustration. Um, let's look at the one on the bottom first. Methane is an alkane. Um, it's the smallest alkane. And if you remember from general chemistry, when we have four groups around a central atom, they're going to arrange themselves in a tetrahedral shape where the wedge is coming out and the hashed line is going back. And here's the three-dimensional ball and stick, and here's the, three the space-filling model. So they're going to form that shape. In an alkene, because of the double bond, now when we look at each of these carbons, they have one, two, three groups instead of four. 
So the geometry is going to be different. It's going to be trigonal planar. So around this carbon with three groups, it's trigonal planar. And around this one, three groups, it's going to be trigonal planar. And so this is really a two-dimensional molecule. You get a flat molecule, whereas the alkanes are not flat. They're three-dimensional. Feel free to stop me if you have questions. We talked about, oh, there's a typo. Nice. Let's fix that. Cycloalkenes. It should be cycloalkenes. Cycloalkenes are like cycloalkanes. The cycloalkanes were just an alkane that had a ring with the carbons. And so a cycloalkene is a cyclic unsaturated hydrocarbon. And in that ring, there's going to be one or more carbon-carbon double bonds. The general formula for those having only one double bond is Cn, 2n minus 2. Because when you join the ring, you lose two hydrogens. The simplest one is cyclopropene. And here's uh, two different ways of drawing that. It's a three-membered ring. There's a double bond in there. And it's called cyclopropene. You can have cycloalkenes with more than one double bond in them, but they're not as common. It's more common to just have a single double bond, a single double bond, as opposed to a single single bond. One, it's more common to have one double bond, that's better. And then this guy looks like some funky triangle. That's actually a line angle structure for cyclopropene.